Hi, this is Allie from AllieEdwards.com and today I want to walk you through the process of cropping your photos to two and a half by three and a half for use in baseball card divided page protectors. I'm going to be working in Photoshop elements today and I'm doing this tutorial primarily uh, in response to a project called Week in the Life that is hosted on my blog at AllieEdwards.com. So what we're going to be doing, I'm going to show you essentially how I go through and crop the photos that I want to use in the baseball card page protectors. And then for uploading and printing, I went ahead and put four two and a half by three and a half images on a five by seven canvas. You could also do two images on a three and a half by five um, canvas as well. It's kind of up to you and, and uh, how you want to go about that process. But I'll be showing you essentially how to crop and then how to create a new canvas and uh, include all of those images together before uploading and either printing at home or printing um, through a photo developer or photo service. Okay, so what you see on my screen right now, I'm in Photoshop Elements and I have an image open. Uh, I use a program called Aperture for my photos, so I have simply uh, gone ahead and opened Aperture and then drug, excuse me, moved my photos, uh, a couple photos here from Aperture into Photoshop Elements to walk you through the steps. So what the first thing that you want to do is you want to go up to Edit, excuse me, Image, Go to image first, resize, and then go to image size. And when that pops up, what I do is I change the resolution to 300, which is what you want for printing. And then I change the height. And the height of these baseball card page protectors is three and a half. So I put in 3.5. And then the way that I like to do this, and the reason why I do the height first is because that to me feels like a, a really simple way to to start off with the correct proportion. From there I come over and I use the crop tool and I bring that onto my image dragging it and I'm going to just eyeball, I'm using the rulers uh, here to find two and a half. And like I said I just kind of eyeball it, it's close enough uh, for me it is, is okay. One of the things that you will want to do is make sure that your aspect ratio is correct. If you grabbed the crop tool and then you tried or made an attempt at cropping and um, found a restriction in terms of let's say it was automatically creating a square or it had some um, specific uh, width and height that it was trying to keep, uh, you want to unlock that. So if you come over here you can see like the photo ratio uh, or two and a half by two or three by five, there's these different options you can select. You want to click no restriction, which is going to allow you to really make it in any shape. So what I've done here is I've got a two and a half wide by three and a half tall. And then I love that I have the ability by clicking with my mouse to be able to move it around and figure out what part of this image do I want to have included in this rectangle. So let's say I'm going to go just about right there. A lot of the times when I'm doing this, I like to have um, the main elements of the image either to the left or to the right rather than dead center. For me personally, it's more visually appealing to have it um, either on one side or the other. So we're going to go ahead and just click that little arrow there and now I have a nice two and a half by three and a half sized image which you could print right away. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to change the canvas size of this image so that I can then uh, crop a couple more and add them on here before printing. So I'm going to come over here to the layers palette and I'm going to double click and that is going to release and unlock that background layer and allow me to edit this photo some more. I'm going to go back up to image, go to resize and this time I'm going to select canvas size. Now in the canvas size, I'm going to put in 5 by 7. This is also where you could go 3.5 by 5 if you just wanted to do two photos uh, and have it be even a little bit less expensive. The anchor here is just going to be in the middle. That means that it's going to give you space all around it. 
and just click OK. Now you have that uh, image just floating there in the center and I'm going to move it up to the top. Now it, it allows me to place four other photos of the same size right on this canvas before printing. So let's walk through the process once again with a second photo here. Remember the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to resize this. We're going to go to image, resize, image size, change the resolution to 300, adjust the height to three and a half, select OK. You can make it a little bit bigger if you'd like. One thing you would want to do too is if you don't see rulers on your photo, if you come up to view, go down to click rulers, that will take them away. But if you want to be able to see them, um, you want to make sure you click there, which makes the whole cropping process of eyeballing that two and a half possible. Okay, so there is my close enough two and a half. And again, I'm going to click on the photo and move it over. Here's another example of where I'm going to put them over to the side. Rather than having my son right in the middle, which would be a fine image as well, I just like to have the weight of the photo over to one side or the other. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK there. Now to move this photo over onto my bigger canvas, I'm going to grab the Move tool. I'm going to click on this photo and I'm going to drag it over here on to the flower. And I'm just going to slide that right into place. Now I, all I need to do is grab a couple more photos and then I'm going to repeat the same process. I'll just show you here with that same one so you can see where it goes. So I'm going to end up with four photos on this five by seven. That's four two and a half by three and a half images. And then before uploading I just want to save it as a JPEG. Save it to my desktop is what I usually do and then go ahead and either print it at home or, or upload it to whatever developer you're using and select the 5 by 7 option. Hope that's helpful for you. I went ahead and I did, I think I had about 18 of these, which gave me all of the 3.5 by 5.5, or excuse me, 2.5 by three and a half images for my baseball card prote page protectors for my week. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions either on my blog or you can go ahead and email me allie at allieedwardsdesign.com and thanks again for watching.